previously on Pirates of the Caribbean and the Goblet of Fire. Captain Jack Sparrow and his fellow team of pirates won the Trimester Tournament! Huzzah! Champagne all around! But suddenly, a mysterious blue box landed in Hogwarts. Dun dun dun! What mysterious things lie in that box? What tomfoolery shall people get up to? Why am I asking you all these questions? Find out now in the fourth and final part of Pirates of the Caribbean and the Goblet of Fire. Da 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 bom. Whew! That was a bumpy ride. How the hell am I? There are people in that thing? Harry, what's going on, you creep? Greetings, I am the Doctor. Could anyone tell me where we are exactly? Year-wise, I mean, I don't mean place, I think I can guess where we are, but could someone tell me what year it is, please? Why, it is the year 2007, my good friend. Have you no sense of time? 2007? Really? I thought it was in like the 18th century, what with all the pirates running around and everything. Is there some kind of like family event going on, or a Disney movie? It's just... why? Well, because you've just missed the Tribes of Tournament. Turns out that the pirate lot won. Yay! But there was no Disney movie. Well, not yet, anyway. Shame. Well, congratulations, me hearties! It's bucko to see you all, matey! I think a celebratory shindig is in order. I hope you don't mind that I brought a few friends with me. Oh, no, no problem at all. We'd be delighted to meet them, dude. Alrighty then, let's get this party started! Now will the guys please step out of the TARDIS and I shall now introduce... First of all we have the Hobbits of the Shire. Now I tricked them and said that I would help them destroy the One Ring. Whatever that is. Hey, hold on a minute, this isn't Mount Doom! Looks like we've been tricked Mr. Frodo. Don't worry, I'll have him long shanks! Um, hello, I'm Mary. Is it time for second breakfast yet? I'm famished. And this is Neo. Hell yeah, Neo. I'm the one. I can also stop bullets in my hands. And I can think of numbers. 69, dude! And now that the introductions have been made, let's be excellent to each other and party on, dude! What the? Aha! I knew this was gonna happen. Don't say I didn't want it, because I knew. <laughs> Man. What the bloody hell is happening with the blue boxy thingy? Ha, this always happens when the doctor brings people from different worlds and realms with him to pay visits and say hello to people with. Like, somehow, by the most improbable ways imaginable, there always ends up with armies and armies of... Well, just look, man! Ha, I mean, only the doctor would bring the entire Dalek and Cyberman army with him, man. I mean, honestly, just look at that. They're all everywhere. Look at the sky, man. I mean, it's orange. I mean, who else brings an orange sky with them? Doctor Who, that's who. But not only that, man. I mean, he's brought it. Uh, who are they again? Wizards, hobbits, and time lords, and humans are viruses. And we are the cure. I'm actually an elven lord. Rock on. Elrond, what are you doing here? Uh, Jack, I don't think you're going to be happy about this next visitor. I'm happy to see it. Well, you know I always welcome people with open arms, Savvy. Oh, double bugger! Jack Spaller, you owe me your soul. Oh, not again! Pippin, I thought I said do not touch any buttons, especially the button that opens the rift and releases all the time and dots from the parallel universe. You might have done. Aha! My chance to be a snitch. Oh, oh! I know it's a side man. He's right over there, sir. In my Dalek opinion, I believe that the boy with glasses is too much of a snitch and deserves to be exterminated along with his whole kind. And I also believe that we shall kill this pirate species just for fun. Accept or decline offer. Accept. Prepare the ultimate deletion. Delete. Delete. <coughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, man. <coughs> well, they better get a move on, or otherwise I might just strangle you before they delete you, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Oh, Mother Carrie's chickens! We're done for! We're goners! Oh, we're not gonna get out of this! Oh, God on high, deliver us! 
Farewell, Jack. Farewell, Barbosa. Farewell, Liz. Farewell, Will. Farewell, the rest. Elizabeth, before we blunt to smithereens, you must know this. Oh, I love you, Cuddle Bunny. I love you too, my squishy love bear. I want my Georgia. I want my Georgia. Wait, wait. I'm going to serenade myself out in style. Uh, yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Yeah, that's a good song. Well, old friend, I guess this is it. Goodbye, Jack. Bye, Barbosa. Not you. I meant the monkey. Jeez. You are the you the. Well, Harry has brought about the destruction of all wizard kind. Way to go, boy who lived. I swear on you, are this close to becoming a maroon tea cozy. Ugh, boys. Actually, as luck would have it, I might just have a plan to get us out of the sticky wicket. It's so cunning that even the world's most cunning person wouldn't have been able to think of it. Savvy? Oh, come on, Jack, spit it out! All right, here's the plan. All we have to do is... Mm -hmm. Betray the care of the harm! Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a bad dream. There were pirates in it, and hobbits, and there were little hobbit thingies, like, and there was there's wizards, and there was a guy called Harry Potter, and, and Captain Jack Sparrow, and, and that. It was like a really bad Disney film in my head. Well, what, what a lot of rubbish! Now just go and detect us a cup of tea and biscuits, will you? What stupid... What are you on about? Wizards and pirates? What, what are you on about, boy? By the way, who's Jack Sparrow and Harry Potter? came up with this uh, trilogy, well, even though there are four parts, but anyway, um, the reason that I'm actually making this small video of me at the end of the whole film is to say thank you for everyone who actually contributed to it, such as my best friend in the whole wide world, Megan Cowell, who actually starred in it as the Doctor, because she likes Doctor Who, and let's face it, who doesn't, so thank you very much for starring in it, Megan. To her friend Eddie, who starred in it as well as Agent Smith, because he really, really likes Agent Smith. Not in that way, but he's a big fan of his, and we thought that it would be kind if we just let him star in it as Agent Smith himself. So thank you, Eddie. I'm sorry, I can't actually pronounce your last name, so you know how it's pronounced. And also, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone on YouTube who actually commented and favourited these videos. I mean, without you, it wouldn't have actually been a success, so virtual hug for you and that's it for me and now I'm going to go because I don't know what else to say to you so goodbye